Natalia of Honor. It's day 351. Today we're going to be stitching using my mini inside out machine quilting ruler. Now, we are working on a brand new book that is a companion to this stitch long. It has lots of fun things in it, full color. It's awesome. I can't wait to share it with you. You can find out more in the links below. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll start out by using my blue Mark Begone marker and marking an X through the center of my quilt block. Once I mark that X, then I'm also going to add a couple more markings. I'm going to find the center along each of those new lines that I've created, and then I'm going to measure towards the outside of the block one inch and mark an increment there. I'll repeat this on all four sides of those marked lines. So look closely here. I'm marking them, all of those increments on the right side of one of the lines. From there, I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Now, the mini inside out machine quilting ruler and the inside out machine quilting ruler have those notches marked or cut into the ends of those rulers. To stitch in the ditch, you can line up that ruler so that that notch lines up with the outside of your block and then stitch along your ditch. This will help you to get a pretty accurate stitch in the ditch. Now, from that corner marked point, I'm going to stitch an angular straight line up to that increment where I marked. From there, I'll stitch the remainder of the way to the center of the block. Once I get to the center, I'll adjust my machine quilting ruler and stitch out to the corner by repeating that same process. Once I get to the corner, then I'm going to travel up the ditch and repeat that process, stitching those angular lines into the center of the block and then back out to the corner. I'll complete this design by misting away those marked points. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.